my love, welcome to this yin practice. If you haven't practiced yin before, yin is a practice of stillness. We are taking longer held poses, we are using the support of the ground, the support of props, and we're using that pull of gravity to get into the deeper layers of our tissues. So we're releasing any activation, any muscular effort, and getting into connected tissue. The idea of yin is that we're one, releasing deeper held constriction or tightness, we're also working deeper into the layers of our being. We're allowing our awareness to settle and to come into this place of awareness, of witnessing. We're allowing ourselves to be fully present with whatever bubbles within, whatever stirs, whatever moves, whatever is. It's a practice of really deeply coming into allowing, allowing things to move, to bubble, to be as they are. You're just there to watch them, witness them and allow them to pass. And so, you may want some cushions, you may want a rolled up blanket or just something to stay warm and cozy. You might want a few extra layers, some socks. You don't necessarily need a mat for this practice. You just need a comfortable space. It might also be nice to light yourself a candle or incense or something that just makes your space feel held and supportive and nourishing. And make sure you have some time to yourself so you're not gonna be interrupted. You actually get to dive into this. We're gonna keep this fairly short. Yin can be done at any time of day, but it's really nice to do it at the end of the day, just to release anything that your body's been holding, anything that your body has gathered throughout the day. So I'm gonna have my phone on me to time everything, and um, you just need to put the playlist on if you're listening to music for this, and get yourself comfortable. So pause the video, come back to it when you've got everything you need, and then we'll begin in toe stretch. So coming into toe stretch, and you're going to sit your bum above your heels and tuck all 10 toes under. If this is uncomfortable, you're going to grab either a rolled up blanket, rolled up towel, or a cushion, and you're gonna fold it up, place it up and underneath your shins. By taking it all the way up to the feet, you take out a lot of the intensity. You can also place it under the knees if that gives you more support. And if there is anything going on in your plantar fascia or on the bottom of your feet or your toes, then maybe skip this one. But just make sure that you feel comfortable in the shape. We're not gonna be in it for too long, but we are working with that yin essence, that yin energy. So we are gonna be here for a little bit of time, maybe longer than you're used to. So just find your way into toe stretch. So tuck all your toes under, find whatever support you need to be here and then see if you can soften. So you're not trying to sit up tall, you're not trying to force or push anything. You're just coming into stillness. You're just coming into this. Close your eyes and settle in. See if you can start to send your awareness down into the soles of the feet. So the reason we're starting with toe stretch is it is one of the most grounding and captivating poses we can use. Because of the sensations in our feet, because of the intensity that it brings, it draws our awareness all the way down to the soles of the feet and out of the mind. And so we're using this to really begin with presence. We're using it to really begin with this invitation to allow. As sensations bubble, as it feels a little uncomfortable, or maybe a lot uncomfortable, you're invited to breathe into it and let it be. You're not trying to change it. You're not trying to do anything to it. You're not trying to make it anything different. You're breathing as you are and you're allowing the sensations to bubble below the surface. If it is too much, you can come out of it. See if you can breathe a little deeper into whatever you're feeling. See if you can soften across your shoulders. You're not here for much longer. You can take as many deep breaths, as many sighs as you like. And really watch yourself. How are you interacting or relating to your experience of this shape? How are you interacting or relating to sensations as they bubble, to discomfort as it moves? Last moment here. Take a deep breath in. Let it go. When you're ready, start to find your way out of this shape slowly. So maybe hands to the ground, 
bringing up the knees, sitting your bum down and just coming to lie down on your back. So you're going to unravel, unfurl and bring yourself to lie all the way down. In between our yin shapes, we take what we call a rebound. This is an opportunity, a moment for your body to reset, to come back to neutral and let whatever stirred settle back down. So close your eyes and let your body meet the ground. Feel whatever sensations are in the soles of your feet. Feel whatever is moving. Feel your breath. Just allow yourself to be here. You're not trying to change anything or do anything or make this mean anything. You're just hearing the experience of this. We'll take one more breath. When you're ready, move slowly. We'll come into a child's pose. So you're going to bring yourself up into child's pose. Your bum's going to stretch towards your heels. Your arms can come forwards or even back towards your feet. See how it feels. If child's pose feels like a lot, you can roll up cushions or blankets, place them between your legs or under your chest, just giving you a bit more lift, a bit more support. You can also place a cushion between bum cheeks and heels. And begin to settle in when you're ready. Let your forehead drop down. You can take left or right cheek to the ground if it feels too much to have your third eye on the ground. I'm putting my hands back towards my feet for this more grounding shape. But hands can reach forwards if you want a little bit more openness. And then you're just here. You're just breathing as you are. You're just in the shape. And if you start to notice your mind wander, move, jump from thought to thought, witness that without following the thoughts, without them capturing your awareness, but just seeing them as they move and then coming back to your anchor point. For me, that's always my breath. The breath is the one thing that holds us in this present moment, the one thing that anchors us in the ever-evolving, ever-changing moment. It's here as the moment moves and passes. So see if you can bring yourself back to the rhythm of your breath, allowing whatever stirs whatever is. You're not trying to change it. It doesn't have to mean anything. You're just witnessing what is shaping this, what is influencing this, what is in this moment, what exists. You're just bringing yourself into this deeper place of presence. Just allowing yourself time to really truly be in this moment. With nothing to prove and nowhere to get to and no need to be anything different. You're just here. This is just what it is. you feel that nudge, that urge to get out of your shape, to turn off the video and go and do something else, see if you can sit with that too. Sometimes things start to stir and we distract ourselves, we get busy. And there's magic in movement, there's magic in moving something through our body. But there is also magic in being aware of what is present and allowing yourself to sit with it. There is medicine in everything that lives within and everything that stirs. The only way we can truly find that is by allowing ourselves to really drop in. You're here for just a few more moments.
keep breathing as you are. There's something bubbling, let it bubble, you're okay. When you're ready, you find your way into your rebound. So you can lie on your tummy or you can lie on your back. Choice is entirely yours. Just bring yourself to lying down. Let yourself settle. Let yourself land. Let your body meet the ground, whichever shape you've chosen to be in. And take a breath there. Drop in. Be here. something go last few moments When you're ready, we'll start to find our way into our next shape. You're going to come up to seated. So you have a couple of options for this. I personally would take legs up the wall. If you don't have a wall nearby in the space that you've set yourself up, you're going to take a forward fold and you may want a few cushions for this. So you can take any forward fold. Legs can be forwards, legs can be wide, choice is yours. If you're using cushions, you can lean them up against you for some support. You may need more than one. One cushion doesn't generally do a lot pillows are nice lots of pillows in front of you so that you have some support then you're just going to bring yourself into your forward fold if you need to sit up on something sit up on something let your legs dangle and then let yourself settle if you are coming into legs up the wall you're just going to bring one hip to the wall swing your legs up and find yourself there <sighs> take a breath as your body settles you can bend through the knees and then you're just going to be here. There's nowhere to get to. There's nothing to be. You're just in this moment as it comes, as it moves, as it is. Shoulders are heavy. Body settles into that slight pull of gravity. And you're just letting whatever bubbles, whatever is, come as it does. Watch your mind without following it. Watch your emotions without making them everything. Watch sensations bubble without making them mean anything. No one thing defining you, it can all exist just as it does. It's all welcome. You just breathe in and out. your mind starts to pull you off it's okay just come back slowly if you notice any grip or any tightness see if you can slowly soften it if you feel that urge to shut down the video and go and do something else see if you can sit with it can you allow the space the stillness the opportunity to really be where you are instead of needing to fill the space or be something different or get something done you're just here
keep breathing. If you've wandered, come back. If your mind is busy, refine your breath. No matter what story or fantasy or thought you're lost in, come back. If you need to take a sigh, a breath out to release, release. Let there be a softness, an ease. Yeah, for just a few more moments. Can you be here? Fully. Slowing everything down, being here. If you're in a forward fold, start to make your way to lying down on the ground. If you're in legs up the wall, my invitation is to stay here for a few extra breaths. If you want to lay yourself down and come away from the wall, then lay yourself down. We're gonna take a few moments to end, to just be, to let everything settle. If you are legs up the wall and you wanna stay at the wall but don't wanna keep your legs up the wall, you can slide them down and bring your knees into your chest so there's a little less intensity. Take a couple of deep breaths. Let everything drop towards the earth. Let the weight of your being, your body, your being sink into gravity. yourself be here take out whatever size whatever breaths your body is asking for let it clear give it space it will pass In a full breath in, let it go. Take as long as you need here. I'm going to end this. The playlist should still be playing if you're listening to it. Take as long as you need, move slowly and give yourself this time to really move with what feels most authentic and nurturing for you. There's no rush, there's nothing you have to do, there's nowhere you have to be, this is your time, your space, use it. Thank you for being here, my love, have a beautiful rest of your day. Namaste.